Hey guys, welcome to the 17th Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going over half of these modified tools right here. And the reason that we're going to be going through them so quickly is they're pretty easy to use and pretty self explanatory. Alright, so the first tool that we're going to be going over is the Move tool. And as you can probably guess, the Move tool will just allow us to move something. So if you want to move a rectangle, or some crazy figure that you created, you can just go ahead and do that with this move tool right here. So to use it, you're just going to go ahead and want to click on it, and as soon as you do so, you should see a dialog pop up, and the first thing that it has you do is basically select what you want to move. And in our case, we want to move this entire rectangle right here. So we're just going to go ahead and draw a rectangle around it to select the entire rectangle, and as soon as we um, let go of our mouse, we should see that, yep, it just selected that entire rectangle. Now the next thing that it has us do is select a base point. And the base point is basically um, the point um, at which you can rotate around when you're moving this rectangle. And it's kind of hard to explain, but you'll see once uh, we get into actually moving it. So I'm just going to make the base point the approximate center of my rectangle, but uh, you can make it pretty much anywhere you want. Alright, and as soon as I select that base point, it allows me to move this rectangle anywhere I want. And now you can probably see what I mean by rotate around that point. So we can basically just move this rectangle anywhere we want. I'll make it, I guess, like right there. And as soon as I click, you see that it just moved my rectangle exactly where I clicked. All right, so that's pretty much all there is on the move tool. The next tool that we're going to be looking at is the copy tool. And as you can probably guess, the copy tool allows us to basically just copy anything that we want. And we're actually going to be making several copies of this rectangle right here. So we're just going to go ahead and click on this copy tool. And then the first thing that it has us do is select what we want to copy. And like I said, we're going to want to copy our entire rectangle. So I'm just going to select the rectangle right here. Then I'm going to want to select a base point. And it works just how it works in the move tool. So I'm going to make it the approximate center of this rectangle right here. As soon as I click, I can just move that rectangle anywhere I want. And now the only difference between this and the move tool is whenever I click, I can click as many times as I want and it will make another copy of that rectangle. So I can click here and here and any other place I want. And as soon as I click done, we see that that original rectangle is still there. So now we have a total of, I think, five rectangles. And that includes the original rectangle that we had there to start with. Alright, and the next thing that we're going to be looking at is the Rotate tool, and the Rotate tool will allow us to rotate something that we've created, and we're just going to go ahead and rotate this uh, rectangle right here. So we're just going to go ahead and click on this Rotate tool, first thing that shows up is the dialog, and it wants us to basically select what we want to rotate. And like I said, we're going to want to rotate um, this rectangle right here. So again, select the entire rectangle, or whatever you're trying to rotate. And here we just have to select a center point. I'm just going to make the center point the uh, center or approximate center of my rectangle. And this message shows up and it says the geometry being edited is constrained to other geometry. Would you like those constraints to be removed? And basically what it means is there are constraints that will conflict with us rotating it. And that's because these lines are constrained to be horizontal. These lines are constrained to be um, vertical and parallel and all that stuff. Well, um, if we want to rotate it, all those constraints will have to be removed because if we rotate it, this line will no longer be horizontal and this line will no longer be vertical. So it's basically just asking if it wants to remove those constraints. And if we want to rotate it, we're going to have to. So I'm just going to go ahead and click yes right here. And as soon as I do, it just allows me to freely rotate this rectangle. And if you want to just uh, rectangle or I mean rotate it um, freehand, you can, but you can also um, precisely rotate it by typing in an angle right here. And I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. And yep, there we see that that entire rectangle is now rotated 45 degrees. I just go ahead and click apply, and now just applied um, that rotation to my rectangle. All right. And the next thing that we're going to be looking at is the trim tool. And the trim tool will basically just allow us to remove unwanted lines. So let's say we have another rectangle right here. And we want to remove these three lines because um, it just doesn't make sense for these lines to be there when they're 
um, intersecting. So we're just going to go ahead and use the trim tool for that. So we just go up to the trim tool, click it, and like I said, we're going to want to remove these three lines. And whenever you hover over a line that you want to remove, it basically just turns dotted or dashed, so you can see that that is what you will be removing. And as you can see right here, it doesn't remove this entire line. It only removes in between where it intersects with something else. So it intersects with this line here and this line right here. So it only removes in between there and there. So now when we click, we see that it just removes that line right there, but keeps this line up there, which is kind of nice. And if we just remove this line right there, moves from uh, there to there where it intersects with another line and same thing with this it will uh, remove where it intersects with this line and this line all right so now that looks much nicer all right so that's pretty much all there is to the trim tool the next tool that we're going to be looking at is the extend tool and the extend tool will basically just extend an existing line to intersect with another line so let's say we just have a line right here and it doesn't quite touch on this line but we want it to so instead of having to resize it we can just go ahead and use that extend tool so that it will perfectly come in contact with this line right here so again we just click on this extend tool right here select our line and as you can see as soon as I hover over it it just shows up green right there and that's basically where this line will be extended to so now when we click it basically just extended that line um, to this line so it will intersect with this line perfectly and now if I hover over this line again, it will just show where it will intersect next. So where it will be extended to in the next intersection will be up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click right there. And now we see that it extended this line from here to here. And then it extended this line from here all the way up to there. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I'm using all of these tools. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at the rest. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, so see you guys.